Good morning, it's 7 a.m. here at Joshua Tree, and I use my element for two nights to just try all the OEM accessories that comes with the Honda element. And inside here, I fold all the seats, make them flat. And the first night was not really fun to sleep just on the seats. I woke up a couple of times. Uh, likely for me, I have this bed that perfectly fit, or this mattress perfectly fit the element. And this is made by Treadway. And this is kind of safe my sleep for the second night. And these ones make a really nice job blocking the sun. This one goes all around. And if you guys see it, I don't have any lighting coming inside the car. Uh, this is a two piece. This one is held by a braille pro here. And then on top is just held by this plastic uh, flat tabs. And then in the front is hole on the upper part by the sun visors. And in the bottom is hole by two suction cups that they attach to the glass of the windshield. So uh, in this side, I like it that this one has a packet. So that's where I put my like jacket. There is another packet here that you can use. I didn't use that one, but handy to have. And then if I move around here in the bag is attached by this hook here and then also it has another one over there and then in the bottom is also attached by another elastic and a hook and outside let me open this really quick i got a cabana tent so right now let's go outside and i'll show you other oem accessories that i use during this camping trip what i like of the curtain in the front it has the element logo which is just make it look pretty cool another thing i want to mention is that let's say like if it is a really hot day you can always add one of these windshield sun protectors but it will have to be added in this side like so first the curtain and then this one right here and let me show you the cabana tent now. To use the cabana tent, you will have to make sure that the lift supports on the hatch door are working in, they're working good. If not, it will keep like popping out because of the weight of the tent. And this is the way it attach. It has some clips right here that you attach to the part of the fender, like the inner part. And then it has this zipper and then you can open it. You can have access either from the left or the right side. And it has this pretty cool element logo. It has this back screen and also you can close, fully close it. They have another piece over there that I didn't use. So let's open this. And this is how it looks inside. Let me fully open the whole zipper because I want to show you something else. So, if you fully open all this, this whole piece becomes an Auni too. So you can extend it and it goes really far away from the car. Uh, you can see it has this like hole over there and also has another hole over there. Uh, Honda provide you with these poles. So I got two long poles that they are adjustable. I don't gonna take it out, but just wanted to show you. I just leave it there and it doesn't really bothers me. And then you can make this an Auni, which is pretty cool, I would say. And this is my setup. It was pretty simple. I got this battery uh, from Dr. Prepare. I've been testing this battery for like a month already and I love this battery. I have a Jackery battery right now in my other element, but for the price and the quality, I really like this. So the Cavana 10, this is how it looks inside. It has two poles in the upper part, and that's what it makes kind of like a roof. 
and like I say, the clips that holds the fenders and the zipper. I wouldn't use this though if it was a windy day. It's pretty annoying because I done that before and it was making a lot of uh, noises like flapping around. So I think this one will be cool to have in summertime if it's not windy at all. Other than that, I will just keep it in the storage bag. So there is the mattress. And that's the way that the seats folds. I add, I remove the headrest of the front seat and I just put it over there. Like I say, the first night I slept on this side and all these like bumps over there, like the seat bill, it just was tough on my back. So I just decided to go with this mattress, which I really like. Also, I will say for extra storage, you can always buy the OEM roof rack and the OEM roof basket. So you have an extra place like to storage stuff. Uh, but another cool thing about the elements is that they have like OEM stuff, like this table or some stuff that might work okay. But, you know, just having like aftermarket stuff, like for example, I have a two inch leaf in the element and it makes a huge difference and I have the Rob DC sport rack and just by having that aftermarket roof rack makes a big difference because I don't have to carry the small donut spare tire that comes under here and I can have more room to like just pack more stuff for camping and I can always uh, add or install my full spare tire on the roof rack, I might have an Auni. Now I have some points to add an Auni. For example, in this element, I install a Heroes Hot Rod swivel seat. That makes a huge difference when it comes to the space and also being just able to swivel that seat, give you the extra room. So it's pretty cool to own the OEM accessories. Uh, that was the, the way it was built and I really, really like that. I will say the Honda Element is one of the Hondas that has the most accessories that you can buy of any other Honda. And let's rate all the stuff that I have here. I will say the the curtains inside, I will give it a, a good thumbs up. They did it a job by blocking the sun. It smells really funny though, like a plastic smell. I will say if you get one of these, just put it outside or wash it to get rid of that smell. Uh, I really like this cover a lot. This is something that I think I will use a lot uh, because it's just covered the front, you know, like this uh, driver and, and passenger side windows. I like the color of it. I like the logo that goes in the front. I think the logo is really cool. So that's something that I'm going to keep for sure. I'm gonna bring all my, my trips. I wouldn't use the Cabana 10 even like I think it looks cool. It only works for hot days, for sunny days, when there is no wind. It does give you the extra space though. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't bring it, but I really like it. I think it's pretty nice to have. And what else? And also I got these floor mats. I forgot to talk about the floor mats, but these rubberized uh, floor mats, I think they are really nice to like uh, keep all the dirt on those floor mats. And then when you just wanna clean your car, they are pretty easy to remove and you just can like uh, uh, water with hose, put some water with hose, hose it out and clean it really nice. These seat covers also, I like them a lot. It protects the seats, you know, from like dirt or like when you're camping or hiking and then you can always remove this pretty easily. I have videos about how to remove these seat covers so you can clean them up. I don't have the OEM roof rack. Um, I like those though, if you're planning to carry like small stuff, you know, like a roof basket or like a surfboard or maybe like snowboard, then it will be great. The OEM uh, roof racks. And this is one of the things that I really enjoy a lot. Uh, the table is very stable. It does a good job. The only thing I will say is like, you will have to go through the hassle of removing whatever you have in the bag to get to the table. And if I didn't have the cargo mat, then 
it would be just like a spare tire there but luckily i had this one that i put on top and then i can still add my stuff i like the oem accessories i think they are pretty cool to have for sure uh, i still need a few more like i know there is like a cargo rest right here that you can like hang out in the bag if you sit here i'm gonna post just some pictures of that I have the cargo uh, like cover that goes here. I didn't bring it because I thought I was going to be on my way. When I bring all my camping setup, I will just use that. Like if I'm daily driving the car. There is another cover that blocks for the moonroof. And if you guys know any other OEM accessory that I've been, been missing, please let me know. Uh, it will really helps for people looking for OEM accessories. Um, uh, Sun Elements comes with a fog light. I don't have a fog light installed in mine yet, but that's uh, something that I will do soon. So hope you guys like this video. It helps you just to get an idea with all the OEM accessories that Honda has for the Element. So this is how I pack my stuff for camping in my Honda Element for this trip. I just want to show you that everything that I brought, everything that I show, it is inside my element. I still have a lot of space. So in the front, I try to just have the most space that I can. I have some popcorn here uh, for like a snack, my bear canister with sun, snacks and electronics. And then here in the back, I have this portable toilet and I have my gear for recording. This is the mattress that I use last night so on a windshield sun protector a blanket in this box i have my sleeping bag uh, more snacks my hiking backpack over there with my trekking poles and i also can accommodate another person over there and here in the bag i have my battery which i'm really liking this a lot and i have all these connectors here that i can use to plug my stuff my fridge has been on for a few days and still running pretty good and here in the bag i use this to put my clothes i have an extra uh, windshield sun protector i was going to do like a video review of both different brands my pillows i hang it over there and here is my cabana tent the table legs this is for the moonroof protector and i have a chair and then i got this water jug simple has everything that i need uh, for a few days of car camping so i hope you guys like this video and see you next on the element video mm -hmm.